Feline play behavior results from a combination of factors such as genetics, previous experience, and environment. Play occurs in a cat's life from kittenhood through adulthood. In the veterinary profession, these play behaviors can provide important clues about the health and welfare of the animal. In 1981, a study by Fagan showed that play behavior decreases following injury and illness and reemerges during the recovery period. There are two main kinds of play behavior, object play and social play. Object play involves the use of an inanimate object during play activity. In contrast, social play is directed towards another living being, most commonly towards another cat. Cat play behavior typically begins at about four weeks of age and starts to decline at around 16 weeks. During this time, kittens are in their socialization period. Social play at this stage is of particular importance for developing social relationships and learning proper posturing and bite inhibition for interactions with cats in later life. If a kitten does not learn these social boundaries, they often have heightened aggression during play as an adult. Play aggression is a common complaint among cat owners and requires retraining of the cat's play behaviors. Object play is also important in kittens as it helps to develop motor skills and improve cognitive abilities as found in a study by Hall in 1998. Even though play decreases after 16 weeks, play behavior can still be observed in adult cats but with slight changes in functionality or purpose. In adult cats, object play serves as a way to practice and hone predatory skills. The most common types of play objects are those that are similar to prey, such as small items that have rapid movements and a furry texture. Characteristic movements during object play include tossing and batting with the paws, carrying, clutching, where the object is grasped in the forepaws and kicked with the hind legs, and crouching and springing. These behaviors are all similar to those seen in cats while hunting live prey. For solely indoor cats, play also acts as an outlet for stress release and allows them to express their natural behaviors. Play is also an excellent form of exercise. Although social play is decreased in adults, social play still occurs and is initiated by play signals which include, but are not limited to, rolling to expose the belly, also known as a social roll, and pouncing. Overall, in addition to having physiological and social benefits, play can be used by owners and veterinarians to assess the health and happiness of their animals.